Joshua Hall was first teased to the world on the 6th of July, 2021, when People magazine revealed that longtime TV star and real estate expert Christine Hack was dating someone new after finalizing her divorce from famous British TV presenter Ant Anstead. Thanks to her massive success with reselling properties, as well as significant media exposure, numerous fans had been dying to know just what kind of man Hack had settled for next. It was thus no surprise to learn subsequently that Joshua Hall, the new beau, was also heavily involved in real estate. Although not quite spoken of across the media outlets prior to meeting Christina, Joshua had been an enviably successful and well-established realtor based in Texas, USA for a number of years. Upon finding this out, fans became very curious as to how lavish a life the two could be enjoying in their newfound love. While most would outright assume that Hack's earnings from both real estate and television easily dwarf those of a barely heard of realtor, it's important to note that many of their millionaire colleagues have never been on camera publicly. For all the fans know without duly researching, Joshua could in fact be the breadwinner. Joshua Hall was born on the 19th of September 1980 in Southern California's Fort Hood Army Base into a military family where discipline, dedication, and a strong work ethic were instilled in him from an early age. Growing up in such an environment, he learned the importance of integrity, perseverance, and service to others. These core values would later shape his career choices and define his approach to life. Joshua's father, William Philip Hall, was a serving officer at the time of his birth. William was born in 1960 and had led a successful life as both a father and husband, finding time between his military deployments to take care of everything the household needed. William's wife and Joshua's mother, Vanita Highland de Castro, was born on the 10th of October, 1961, and subsequently gave birth to Joshua and his two younger sisters, Jessica and Stacy, both of whom rose to the stars in their own way, even earlier than their brother. Jessica Hall, the elder of the two sisters, born on the 21st of June, 1983, ultimately became a well-known personality in the entertainment industry. She's been a part of the Playboy universe, hosting shows on Playboy Radio, and even appearing in Playboy magazine. Jessica has also been involved in reality TV, appearing in the show Kendra on Top, which followed the life of her close friend Kendra Wilkinson. To top everything off, she's a successful entrepreneur, having launched her own skincare line called Sleeping Beauties. She married reality TV star Kyle Carlson on the 16th of May 2008, with whom she is a parent of two, having birthed Sophie Carlson on the 29th of May 2015 and Jake Warren Carlson on the 4th of September 2017. Stacey Adams, born on the 14th of March 1986, is no stranger to the limelight either. She gained fame in 2009 as Stacey the bartender in the popular reality TV series entitled The Hills, known for her flirtatious interactions with Spencer Pratt, who was one of the main characters in the show. She also made an appearance in Vanderpump Rules as a bridesmaid for Sheena Shea. Stacey stepped back from the public eye after her stint on television, especially following the birth of her second child. She married triathlete Joel Adams on the 7th of September 2013 and had Audrey Adams on the 29th of September 2016 and Asher Adams on the 29th of July 2020. Despite their individual pursuits and living in different locations, the siblings have maintained a rather close bond over the years. They often spend time together and share their family moments on social media. In fact, Stacy and Joel were featured in the first episode of Christina and Joshua's new HGTV program, Christina in the Country, in which they worked on Stacy and Joel's home together. Joshua's educational journey began at Quartz Hill High School, from where he matriculated in 1998. He then pursued higher studies at Santa Monica College, but eventually dropped out for undisclosed reasons. His early life was marked by a strong desire to serve the community, a dream he realized at the age of 21, when in 2007 he joined the police department somewhere in California. Hall posted an emotional salute to the police force on the 9th of January 2023, deciding to open up about his background as a retired law enforcement officer with over 16 years of service. Recognizing the importance of expressing gratitude to those who continue to dedicate themselves to the challenging field, Joshua felt compelled to shed light on the tireless efforts of his former colleagues. Preferring not to boast about his individual accomplishments or delve into specific impactful moments from his career, Hall chose to use the occasion as a reminder for everyone who stumbled upon their post. He urges individuals to pause and reflect on the countless sacrifices made by those working as policemen, a profession often characterized by thanklessness. 
He noted that these men and women undertake their duties tirelessly throughout the year, remaining on duty potentially 24-7, 365, to ensure the safety and well-being of their communities. Acknowledging that not all officers are infallible and that some may have made regrettable choices or fail to meet certain expectations, Joshua encouraged a broader perspective. With approximately 700,000 police officers in the U.S., he emphasized that the majority dedicate the greater part of their lives to confront peers and face individuals whom the general public would instinctively avoid. He made it a point that these individuals in uniform, whether donning blue, tan, green, or any other color, are not motivated by the pursuit of fame, fortune, or public recognition. Rather, their driving force stems from an innate sense of duty and a genuine desire to protect and serve their communities, ensuring that they return safely to their loved ones after each shift. Joshua extended profound respect to his fellow law enforcement officers in a heartfelt conclusion, expressing a deep sense of camaraderie. To him, they were forever bound as brothers and sisters, united by their shared experiences and the commitment to upholding the principles of policing. The Post also mentioned a discharge from the force due to medical reasons, although this wasn't further elaborated on. Hall thereupon channeled his passion for helping others into a new direction, real estate. Recognizing the immense potential of the industry, he obtained a license as a real estate agent, embarking on a journey that would lead to remarkable success with his unique blend of interpersonal skills, in-depth marketing knowledge, and unwavering commitment to his clients. Joshua swiftly established himself as a trusted expert in the Texas Hill Country real estate market. With an acute understanding of the area's distinctive features, property trends, and market dynamics, he possesses an unparalleled ability to navigate the complex terrain of real estate transactions. From luxurious homes nested amidst breathtaking landscapes to charming villas in vibrant communities, Joshua possesses an extensive portfolio and an impressive track record of delivering exceptional results for his clients. Beyond his professional endeavors, Hall is known for his unwavering support of the Green Bay Packers, a renowned American football team. Additionally, the realtor's tattoos serve as a reflection of his unique personality and individuality, with each design telling a story, representing significant milestones, cherished memories, and personal beliefs. Through his body art, Josh expresses his authenticity and inspires others to embrace their true selves. Joshua and Christina's paths crossed in the spring of 2021 at a time when she was in the midst of a personal transformation following her second divorce. Joshua was introduced to her by a mutual friend, and the connection between them was instant. And by July of the same year, they'd made their commitment public. Christina shared several Instagram story posts that have since expired, expressing her newfound happiness and love for Joshua. She described him as calm, steadfast, and understanding, qualities that she deeply appreciated. In September 2021, Hall surprised her with a romantic proposal in Mexico, marking the beginning of their engagement. The couple then tied the knot in a private and intimate ceremony in February 2022. The wedding was a surprise to many, as it was held at their home in Newport Beach, California, attended by only their closest friends and family. Their life together is marked by a shared love for family, adventure, and tranquility. Christina has three children from her previous marriages. Her first two, daughter named Taylor and son Brayden, were born from her marriage to Tariq Al Musa and came into the world on the 22nd of September 2010 and the 20th of August 2015, respectively. The reality TV diva's third child, a son named Hudson London, was born from her second marriage to Aunt Anstead, welcomed into their former union on the 6th of September 2019. Joshua, on the other hand, doesn't have any children of his own. That notwithstanding, he's embraced Christina's offspring as if he were their father, and the family often shares moments of their blended family life on social media. They enjoy beach outings, vacations, and simple family time at home. Hall is fond of expressing his appreciation of Christina and her children, which can be seen in his Instagram post from the 29th of April 2022, in which he openly acknowledges the challenges that come with taking on the responsibility of raising three children from two different fathers. He's determined to serve as an exemplary role model, in spite of not being their biological father, consistently demonstrating respect towards their mother, and providing unwavering support throughout their growth and development. 
Having experienced the difficulties of coming from a broken home himself, Joshua understood the hardships that young individuals face in such circumstances, which unfortunately had become increasingly prevalent in today's world. Nonetheless, he and Christina, the woman in his life, remained resilient in the face of external judgments and strived to shield the children from any unnecessary trauma. He recognized Christina as an exceptional and driven individual who possesses the remarkable ability to rise above any obstacle and maintain her composure, which casts her as a positive influence in the children's lives while achieving personal success in various endeavors. Finally, Joshua's admiration for his wife was heightened by the fact that he witnessed his own mother display the same strength and resilience while raising him and his siblings, allowing him to deeply appreciate the sacrifices she made. Christina's journey to success began with the popular HGTV show entitled Flip or Flop, which she co-hosted with her then-husband, Tariq El Moussa. Having premiered in 2013, it focused on the duo's real estate business, through which they bought dilapidated properties, renovated them, and sold them for a profit. Christina's expertise in design played a crucial role in the show's success, and it subsequently became a significant source of her income. In 2019, Hack embarked on a solo venture with her own HGTV series, Christina on the Coast, which follows her professional journey as she helps clients transform their outdated properties into high-end spaces, detailing the struggle of modernizing vast spaces. It also offers a glimpse into her personal life, further increasing her popularity as well as her earnings. Hack recently embarked on a brand new television journey with her husband, entitled Christina in the Country. The reality TV series also aired on HGTV, following the couple as they leave their coastal California home behind to start a new life on a farm in Tennessee. The series documented their journey as they adapt to country life, renovated their new home, and managed a working farm. Although the series added to Christina's earnings and continued to solidify her position as a successful television personality and real estate investor, it didn't really do much for the audience. The series has a rating of merely 5.9 on IMDb, with all six of its episodes having aired between the 12th of January and the 16th of February 2023. While Christina on the Coast continues to run, it's unknown whether its country counterpart will be renewed for another installment. In terms of the couple's financial gains as of 2023, Christina's net worth is estimated to be around $25 million, accumulated not only from her television shows, but also her heavy involvement in the real estate business. She reportedly earned about $50,000 per episode for Flip or Flop, and likely a similar amount for Christina on the Coast. Lastly, she also has a furniture and home goods line, which diversifies her income source even further. While not as successful, Hall also made a significant fortune from his career, taking home an impressive $4 million himself. The duo enjoy a combined net worth of approximately $30 million, meaning that their children will lack for nothing whatsoever throughout their upbringing and adolescence. The family also enjoys the presence of a Rottweiler named Biggie, who is often featured in their family photos. The canine is a beloved member of the household, adding to the warmth and love that defies the couple's union. Thank you for spending some time with us. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpick these videos, which we recommend you watch next. You can talk to us on all social medias or ask a question in the comments below. Thank you for being with us and we'll see you back tomorrow.